Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Brown Dust 2 video. Right now, there's a maintenance going on. I can't really play the game, but I can still check out some stuff. By the way, if you guys have a login, you should be getting the 10 free tickets today. Uh, they announced this on Twitter. So hopefully, you guys use it, you know, and try and get something good. But today, we'll be checking out this particular patch notes on their official website. Brown Dust 2 Improvements Notice. So let's see what do we have uh, in terms of the number of things that they are planning to change because, you know, let's be honest, a lot of players are quite critical with the game. Definitely there's lots of areas for improvements. So let's have a look right here. Hello, I'm producer of Brown Dust 2, Jun Hee Lee. Prior to the announcement, we sincerely apologize for not being able to provide a stable gameplay environment at the beginning of launch. Alright, so that's something that I'm glad that they are fixing it. Uh, definitely this is something that hopefully players will be able to experience uh, the game in a smoother fashion, right? Right now, I believe all of you guys have experienced disconnects from time to time, which can be very, very annoying. Uh, you, we were not able to give feedback right away due to the preparation of the exact improvement date and change plan. So we ask for your understanding. So we will now tell you about our future improvement plans. So let's see. Let's hear it. So first things first, server normalization and build stability at all times. Okay, finally, finally. This is the number one thing that they should fix, right? Obviously, the main thing is to make sure that the game is stable and everyone can play it at all times. So that's going to be the most important thing, uh, I believe, right now in the, this particular maintenance. We're very sorry for the inconvenience caused by insufficient preparation and not being able to, uh, not being well prepared for a situation where there may be a lot of traffic immediately after the game is open. Okay, so it makes sense. Uh, even though a lot of these games, they go through the beta test, uh, closed beta test, open beta test, doesn't matter whatever beta testing that they do, usually it's in a small sample size. So this is something that they don't really, you know, see or they don't really uh, experience during the beta because, you know, it's like a small number of players, right? When there's a big massive influx going in, uh, official launch, things are going to be a little bit different. On June 23rd, the server was expanded and structural uh, supplementation was carried out through a temporary maintenance. Currently, all relevant departments, including the de development team, are continuously monitoring the server environment carefully. And in addition to server issues, we're trying to fix bugs and optimization issues as well. Very, very good. Uh, I'm glad this is one of their priorities for now. Providing a stable play environment is the most basic thing, so we continue to fix this issue first. Yes, definitely. Number two, okay, draw points and powder of hope shop improvements, July 6th update. The following improvements will be made to make unused draw points more useful. Okay, uh, I have a feeling I know what this is all about. When the draw point exchange period ends, the remaining draw points will be automatically converted one to one into powder of hope. You can purchase various growth items with NAP with Powder of Hope in the shop. Uh, okay, so uh, right now, if you guys are not aware, what are, we, what are they talking about is basically this particular thing, right, in the gacha. Uh, am I able to show it right now? I wonder if I can show the draw right now. Or may, will it disconnect me? Okay, so uh, basically the draw point is this thing right here. You can exchange, right? So notice you need 200 to exchange for the, it's basically the PT points to be able to get the particular costume for PT, right? Alright, so improve uh, item added to the Powder of Hope shop. In the future, you can purchase a 5-star costume at the Powder of Hope shop. 200 Powder of Hope can convert to one 5-star costume. Okay. Okay, now that is interest. That is good. That is good. If you gather enough for 200, which is the equivalent of uh, PT in this case, right? You can straight up convert to a 5-star costume. The 5-star costume provided by the Powder of Hope shop may vary depending on the season. During the sales period, each costume can be purchased once. The items and its price of Powder of Hope Shop currently on sale will also be improved. Okay, so that's nice. Uh, hopefully these are the things that we can look forward to. At a real-time draw point, what is this? Powder of Hope Exchange System. A function to convert draw points into Powder of Hope will be added. When the pickup period ends, it is automatically converted into Powder of Hope as, as before, but you can purchase products in the Powder of Hope shop by converting the desired quantity in real time, even before the end of the pickup period. Okay, so this is something that I guess players have to collectively do to convert it in real time. 
details will be announced in the July update notice. So we'll look out for that in July. So it's not happening. I guess it's sort of happening in a week's time or depending on when, right? One to two weeks. Expansion of diamond acquisition locations. July 6th update. Rewards will be changed so that you can earn diamond in the daily and weekly mission. Let's go. Let's go. This is what I'm talking about. All right. So finally, the game is better now. Okay. If you guys are not aware, the biggest issue that a lot of players have right now is the mission. All right. You go to this mission right here. What are we getting? We're getting this ability peel, which is decent, which is good, but there's no gems, right? There's not a single place to get gems. So that has caused a lot of players to complain. All right. So in the daily and in the weekly. So after, in the future, all right, in, in two weeks time, I think, one or two weeks, they'll be changing it. Daily missions now will give you 60 diamonds. All right. Weekly mission will give you 200 diamonds. This is, uh, this is going to make the game way more free to play friendly. Holy, such a big improvement. Okay. So if you guys are not aware, you need 2000 uh, for multiple. All right. In the, in the gacha shop. 2,000 diamonds for multiple. So that means one week, you should be able to get 60 times seven, all right, plus 200. So this should be the amount that you can get, 620 gems or diamonds, right? 620 gems, diamonds is not quite there yet, but over the course of three weeks easily. All right, let's see, multiply by three. About, uh, I would say in one month, you can get more than enough for multiple. Now, there are plenty of other ways they say that they're going to add as well. So at least now you can easily get it. It's way better than before, for sure. In addition to that, we are preparing various events so that you can have opportunities to draw more costumes. We'll inform you of the details in the July update notice. Okay, so first good step right here. Obviously, you know, right now, it's definitely way, be way better than before, for sure. Exclusive equipment option change system, August update. We would like to express our deep apologies to the users who were disappointed by the lack of complementary measures when the gears became unwanted gears because of random option results. Okay, this is for the exclusive option for the, for the equipment. We will add the ability to change the gears main option and the three options granted during enhancement to other options. Changes in options will be made possible with currencies that can be acquired through in-game play. We will inform you of the details in the future update notice. This makes a lot of sense, all right? That's a very good one because right now we have exclusive gears, but what's the point of exclusive gears if your main stat sucks, right? So now you have an option to change the gears main option and also the other three options as well. So that's going to be a big, big, big bonus. Exclusive gear option change system is being prepared with the goal of update in August. So this is going to be two more months. So we got to wait for this. Planning to give compensation stated below for those who have used exclusive gear pickups from the launch. Uh, an item that allows you to change the exclusive gear option once per 50 times of using the exclusive gear pickup draw, including the number of free draws. Uh, ooh, that's good. So we're going to get that later on. Other improvements in July 6th. Adding the ability to exit during battle. Okay, I was wondering why, like, if I already lost the battle and I keep, you know, like in chapter 4, when you were sneaking around with Ro, I accidentally fight that giant beast and I already lost the battle but I couldn't exit. I have to watch my character slowly getting demolished by that thing. <laughs> the voice will not cut off when auto playing the story. Button UI position improves so you can click the skip dialog button at once while progressing the story. 60 FPS option is added. Okay. Okay, for players that are not happy, now, you know, you will have the 60 FPS option. If you have the conditions of the number of draw tickets, the number of diamonds you have, you can draw 10 times immediately. Okay, this makes a lot of sense. If you guys are not aware right now, even if you have, if you have like 8 tickets, right? 8 tickets, you want to do a multi-pool, you cannot you have to get 10 tickets to do a multi pool. Even though you have the diamonds, they won't. They don't know how to convert it, but that's a good thing that they're gonna be able to know how, all right? That's definitely very beneficial. When you run the game, you automatically enter the last pack you entered. If you are stuck in the unmovable area of the field, you'll be automatically moved to the nearby inn. The voice tone of the Korean voice actor in the tutorial pack will be changed. 
future improvement plan after August. We're planning various convenience improvements such as background repeat battles. Sounds background repeat. Does that mean like offline? Auto growth. Field formation saving for more pleasant gameplay environment. In addition, we plan to improve all of the things that many users gave opinions about, such as the inconvenience caused by the temporary companion character changing the formation, the decoration of the lobby, and the addition of character details. We'll inform you later in the future. Skill cutscene. We will also add skill cutscenes for characters without cutscenes and improve some anim spine animations. Okay, so right now, like, if you guys are not aware, the skill cutscene only just the, uh, um, who else? Lethal and maybe like the main few ones, right? So hopefully more characters will have skill cut-ins and this will give the game more quality. I definitely do appreciate that. This is the end of the improvement plan we wanted to deliver. During the January beta test, we listened to the voices of many users and Brown Us 2 who was able to develop in a better direction. We realized once again that the game service is created together by the dev team and our users will continue to develop, to develop Brown Us 2 in a better direction by gathering various opinions sent from all over the world. Thank you to all users who have been enjoying Brown Dust 2 since the grand launch. We will continue to make efforts to provide you with enjoyable contents. Okay, big improvements, lots of good things coming to the game. I'm happy to see this. Uh, if you guys were unhappy with it, I'm glad that they are fixing it. Alright, this is what I like about gacha games or live service games in general. Developers can always fix their stuff if they are willing to listen to the community and I'm really really glad that Brown Dust 2 developers they are willing to listen to the players and this is a good plus for me alright definitely uh, I might consider supporting the game alright so let me know what you guys think of all of these major changes are you guys happy with this? is this enough to make you guys enjoy the game better? let me know in the comment section below as always subscribe give this video a like I'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day goodbye